<laughs> Already? I'm sorry for being late. No need to apologize. We still have plenty of time, so I'm more so I'm more glad that you took all the time you needed. All right. <laughs> Thanks, Monica. I suppose I should go get my poem now. Anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to not be very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know? No, them feels. I see. Loud oh, noises! <laughs> that one got me. Well, let's read it then. All right, hold on a minute. Is the person who says it Canadian? Yep, yep. They're Canadian. Um, they're actually... Do I have more Letterkenny sound effects? I don't know if I have more Letter Letterkenny sound effects, but... There, there's a lot of gems from that show. Hole in wall. This is for Monica. Hole in wall. But he wasn't looking at me. Confused, I frantically, frantically gl glance at my surroundings. But my burned eyes can no longer see color. Are there others in this room? Are they talking? Or are they simply poems on a flat sheet of paper? The sound of frantic scrolling playing tricks on my ears? The room begins to crinkle. Closing in on me, the airy breeze dissipates before it reaches my lungs. I panic. There must be a way out. It's right there. Keys right there. Swallowing my fears, I bandage my pen. Okay. So what do you think? I don't know. Hmm. It's very freeform, if that's what you call it. Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. Haha, <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. What was the inspiration behind this one? Ah. Uh, well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say that I'm some kind of epiphany recently. It's been influencing my poems a bit. An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. I remember this part. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on paper and tidy it up later. Another way to think about this is... If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just end up getting a dark puddle of ink. So just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Yuri! <laughs> oh, what are you playing? As Yuri reads the poem, I notice her eyes lighten. Exceptional. Yeah, what was that? Did, did I just say that out loud? Yuri first covers her mouth, but then ends up covering her whole face. I... Uh... He's going to hate me. Uh... You really didn't do anything wrong, Yuri. Eh? That's... I... I guess you're right. What am I getting so nervous for? Ah ha 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 ha! Yuri takes a breath. So, what kind of writing experience do you have? Your use of imagery and metaphors indicates you've written a lot of poetry before. Uh, maybe in other Groundhog's Day. Really? Wow, that's a huge compliment coming from you. This is actually my first time, really. I guess it's my first time. Huh? Yuri stares at me blankly and then looks at my poem again. Well, I know that. I just meant, uh... Yuri trails off, unable to find an excuse. She traces her finger along the words in the poem as if breaking it down more thoroughly. Yeah. Okay. This is the reason I was able to tell. It's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most noticeable thing I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style very del deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter, and they form fit the two together. 
end result is that both the style and expressiveness are weakened. Once Yuri finds her train of thought, it's as if her demeanor totally changes. Her stammering is completely gone, and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not- oh, whoops. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing in a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice and learning by example and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. Natsuki can be a little biased, though. Biased? How? Uh, um, well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri's apologizing herself to me or Natsuki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I'd love to share my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamily as if that, that's a rare opportunity for her. Which itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? Mm -hmm. Alright. Ghost on Earth. Ghost under the light. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow. Bathing. It must be this one. The last remaining streetlight to have withstood the test of time. The last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe. Calm. Breathing air of the present but living in the past. The light flickers. I flicker back. That's the same poem she did earlier, huh? I, I'm sorry. I have such terrible handwriting. What? I wasn't thinking that at all. Which took you a long time to read. Uh, I'm just dumb. Well, I just don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Eh? That, er... That's a relief. Also, I like the poem. He says, yawning. Even though it was short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short. I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm... I'm really glad you like it. I'll be honest. Since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Something easy to, write, to digest, I suppose. Are you, you into ghosts, Yuri? Pew, dog! You and your stinky farts. <laughs> Actually, the story isn't about ghosts at all, Big Papa. Really? I must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you did only glance at it, after all. But remember that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, excuse me. Perhaps the subject of the poem is only being it's only being symbolic and compared to a ghost. The second time I read that poem, second time I didn't pick up on that she was even symbolically referencing a ghost. I am dense. Lingering in her last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past, and soon to be left without with nothing. That's a lot more solemn, putting it that way. God. Now I have two flies again. Where are they coming from? Uh, I hadn't even thought of that. That's impressive. Eh? It, it's nothing, really. Yours was impressive, too, so... Nah. If anything, I could probably learn a thing or two from you. You think so? Yeah, of course. Uh, you know, I was really nervous about doing all this. But in the end, I enjoyed it. I'm going to keep doing my best for you, Big Papa. Data, what are you doing over there? Ugh. Whew. Uh, me too. In flies. I got him between my fingers, like between these two. I got him. I gotta go throw more. Oh, there's trash. It flies. Get out my house. This is my house. Stupid, stupid.
stinking flies. All right, who should I show my poem to next? Why is it even giving me a choice? Can I skip Natsuki? <laughs> All right, grumpy girl. Gremlin here. Big Papa, if you're not going to take this club seriously, then go home. What? Harsh. Why do you expect me to believe that you're actually put effort into this? Miss, you write super obvious eagles can fly poem. Do you think I'm stupid? I'm not a writer. Maybe it's not very good, but yeah, I did put effort in. I also are somewhere, right? If you're so proud of the first poem you ever wrote, then I'd like to read it. <laughs> Painful to think about? To each their own, I guess. You already liked it. Anyway, I guess I gotta share mine now. No, you, you'll probably think it's stupid. It's the second time I had I read that. Fuck off! Oh, I bonked him. No, but I didn't get him. There's God. There's another one. I squish one, and two more show up. I missed. It wasn't even worth getting up. All right, I'm not even reading her poem. Her poem is doomed. Yeah, I told you that you weren't gonna like it. I like it. I lie. What? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced? Oh wait, why are you so convinced that I won't like it? Seriously. Probably because you write like a four-year-old. My nephew could write better than that. But is it the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yeah, exactly. I like when it's easy to read, but it hits your heart. That hit nothing. Like in this poem, seeing everyone you do great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like I set up for a rhyme at the end, but then made it fall flat on purpose. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess more weight into it than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro. Cat tooth. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did ya? Yeah, I guess not. I decided to humor her with the last comment. You loathe the gremlin voice? It's my favorite voice! Come on! Come on, Bert, you love it. You love it. You love it. Hydra Fly? Dude, that sounds like a great idea for a D&D campaign. There needs to be a Hydra Fly. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't, proud that I won't take that away from her. At least that's good of me. Good me. Phew! I guess that's everyone. I glance around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone is judging me for mediocre writing abilities. <laughs> what the fuck was that music? Okay, it's normal again. That killed my laugh. I was laughing because I, I rethought of what you just said, Birch, and it killed me. <laughs> I loathe the gremlin voice. <laughs> that made me laugh. And then music got all creepy messed up. And ruined my joy. Uh, it's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. Really? I think you could give Natsuki's run for her money. This is the literature club, after all. Hi, Sai. I guess that's what I end up getting myself into. Across the room, Monica is writing something in her notebook. My le eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. 
As they read in tandem, I watch their each of their expressions change. Natsuki eyebrow, Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? Uh, um, did you say something? Uh, it's nothing! Nats <laughs> Natsuki dismissively returns to the poem, to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy! Uh, thanks. Yours is cute. Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up! How can that be cute? I... I know that. I just meant... The language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Eh? You mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Suggestions. Hmm. If I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. Monica liked it. And Big Papa did too. Oh, fly. So based on that, I'd gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all... Excuse me. I appreciate the offer, but I spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon. Unless, of course, I come across something particularly inspiring. Snap! Which I haven't yet. Oh! And the icing on top! <clears throat> and Big Papa liked my poem too, you know? Oh god, here comes the drama fight again. No! <sighs> he even told me he was impressed by it. Natsuki suddenly stands up. Here comes the fight again. Excuse me. You were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri! Oh, uh, I have to look through this again. Eh, that's not what I... You, you're just... Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Big Papa appreciates my advice more than he appreciates yours. Huh? And how do you know that he appreciates... He didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? God, dog, your farts smell bad. Ah! Hi. No. If I was following myself, I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do elderly cutesy. You! Well, you know what? I was the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as Big Papa started showing up. I'm Natsuki. Okay, she's not in front of the screen anymore. Um, Natsuki, that's a little. Jones ain't scared he's on others like that. You really act as a fool. What the fuck was that? No! What the fuck? Stop! I'm trying to read! Can it stop? Can you stop? The music's getting faster and faster. I can feel my heart rate going up with it. What the fuck? Sound is awful. Me and Michael's talking, you wanna be an energy bitch! Whoa! Dropping the B bombs? Hey G. Sorry this my lifestyle is too much for someone of your mental age to comprehend. See! Just say that proves my point! They keep they keep walking in front of the static. Most people learn to get over themselves after they graduate middle school, you know! You have to prove anything and stop harassing others with your own sickening attitude. You think you can counterbalance your toxic, toxic personalities by dressing and acting cute? Damn. Now you think about you is how hard you try. Damn, dude! Yuri dropping the bombs! Whoa, be careful, you might cut yourself on that edge, Yuri! Oh, my bad! You already do, don't you? Depending on Yuri's expression here will prove my theory. Ah! 
Oh shit. Did you just accuse me of cutting myself? What the fuck is wrong with your head? What?